Hey YouTube, how's it going? Mevlin back here again with another Epic 7 video and this one's all about Carrot. I'm gonna start off by saying that this hero is a beast. I think they overtuned the hell out of her. She's so hard to kill because of her passive 20% damage reduction and her shields. She can't be controlled or it's really hard to control her because she cleanses one debuff every single turn when she gets hit. And she's really easy to build because all you need for damage is attack and then some effectiveness so you're able to hit those high ER units. I'm not going to talk about my build too much because I plan to rebuild my entire account and probably going to put Kara on a higher priority because I think she's just that broken that I could spam her in every single game in RTA. Uh, for her sets, it's just speed immunity. Immunity is a must. I think speed set is the best. You can go counter if you want to. If you have good counter gear, you could compensate the loss in speed with the substats, but for the most part, I think I'll be running speed just because it's easier to build her this way. Uh, for her stats, I think 200 speed is probably good. I also like the amount of bulk I currently have sitting at 12k with 1500 defense. I do prioritize defense over health. Because of her S2 passive, it scales off attack and does not scale off health. So then you're valuing attack and defense just to get a bigger shield and bigger mitigation. Uh, for effectiveness, I just happened to have 73. It wasn't intentional. Uh, that's just what my gear rolled, and that's about it. This works really well. For artifact, I'm currently running Etika Scepter. There are other options, but again, this is my first day of testing her out, and I'm probably going to be testing her out even more, and I'll probably talk about other artifacts in a future video. So for this one, it's just my day one experience, and TLDR, she's so much fun, and she wins me so many games, so I'm going to be enjoying playing her in the future. Anyways, uh, let's go straight to the fights. Alright, for this first clip, I just want to showcase a generic build that I run a lot in RTA uh, involving Carrot. Uh, it's going to be against Def 27. I'm sitting at Legend and sitting at Champion. I pre ban Water Tanny and he pre ban Cerise. He grabs first pick here and goes ahead and grabs Jeeperg. Pretty common draft uh, pre ban Cerise, grab Jeeperg. I go ahead and grab Carrot and mid Chloe. I've actually been doing this a lot where I just grab Carrot uh, super early. I'm not sure if that's because she's actually safe early or just people not sure how to deal with her yet, but I've had pretty good success uh, drafting Carrot early. I also grab Maid. Uh, sometimes I go Maid, sometimes I go uh, Landy in this slot. I'm not sure which one I like yet at the moment, but I feel like uh, with a Carrot on the field, people tend not to go Landy. So I feel like uh, picking Landy later is a safe bet since they're not going to be taking it away from me for the most part. Uh, so that's why I grabbed Mei Chloe here, because I feel like Mei Chloe was a little bit more contested. Uh, Defsu goes ahead and grabs Crow and Spectre. Pretty solid draft, uh, you know, we got Jeeper, Crow, Spectre, Tank, Attack Buffer, and a DPS. I go ahead and grab Landy with my Basar. Uh, now I have two counters for the Crow, which is Mei Chloe, Basar. I have double counter for the Spectre, which is um, my Kara and my Landy. The only problem right now is the Jeeperg so far, but in RTA, you don't really counter Jeeperg. You just ignore him or you can just ban him at the end. Uh, Defsu goes and grabs Yufine to counter my Basar, and he does grab AD Meru as well. I'm not sure if AD Meru is good into Carrot yet. I'm kind of convinced that she's not at the moment because Carrot can just cleanse the seal. But it's still in trial phase, so most of the time I just let the AD Meru through because I do want to see what she's able to do against my team comps. Uh, for my last pick, I just go ahead and grab Mitigation. Uh, there's not really much problem in his team. Like I said, I'm not scared of AD Meru. I'm not scared of Yufine either, even though I have Basar. For the most part, I'm not scared of Yufine. The only one I'm super scared of is the attack buffer and the CR pusher in the form of Jeeper. So I'm grabbing T-Crozet for Mitigation, banning Jeeper, and he goes ahead and bans my Basar anyways. So the fight starts off, and apparently we are a cleave team. Uh, we start off with May Chloe. Uh, give our team attack buff and a uh, re revive buff. Landy takes a turn. That Yufine might be a tad too slow. It's around 205 speed, I gather. But with Landy, we are going to push our entire team up. Uh, deal a decent amount of damage. And our carrot takes a turn. We are going to S3 land some sick burns. Remember, she also strips at the moment. And since there's no other buffs on his team, uh, we're just going to take all the immunity out. And the AD Mayor does proc. We resist the seal but she ends up uh proccing anyways and that's actually bad for her because she just ends up getting more burn she resists the first burn from her first hit but we managed to land the second one here i'm going to s1 into the Fine. actually got super lucky not only did we land a stun on the Yufine, 
but main Chloe uh, dual attacks and then since that target was stunned from Chi Crozet we get a CR push. He goes in and tries to um, S1 our carrot. I really don't think that's a good idea because I think I'm pretty sure my passive is still up. Uh, she cleanses once a turn every time she gets hit and I'm pretty sure that AD Meru is dead at this point. Um, Crowd's gonna S3, S3 my Landy and unfortunately her revive buff was uh, dispelled by AD Meru and uh, ends up killing my Landy but at this point I think it's over. There's too many burns running around and yeah my opponent just leaves and yeah I just end up cleaving his team I guess. GG. So for this one I'm going to end up with the same draft It's just I find really good success rate with this draft specifically against like different people at high level RTA. So you know it doesn't hurt to show it multiple times. Uh, the fight is against Sedge. I'm sitting at Legend, he's sitting at Champion, I pre-ban Water Tanny, and he pre-bans Basar. Sedge goes ahead and grabs Crow, a pretty decent first pick currently in the current meta, IMO. Uh, and I go ahead and grab Kara and Landy. Uh, this is why I'm saying that I think Kara, first pick Kara is just pretty strong that I don't really care that there's a blue Crow. Blue Crow does hard counter carrot but like i said i don't really care at the moment uh, i also i grab this combo too since carrot does counter landy so then if i have landy now into blue crow and i don't have to worry about sedge grabbing carrot to counter my landy uh, sedge answers with Jeeperg and flurry he's playing super passive right now so you know i already have my two of my dps i guess one of the downsides of going carrot plus landy is you already took two of your dps slots so i go ahead and grab a mid chloe and my t crows it you know these are the four units i play a lot uh sedge goes ahead and answers with kisei and ravi and now his team is super weak to uh cerise so i just grab cerise which is a guaranteed must ban for sedge and i just ban the kisei because i don't want uh kisei to reset my carrot So the fight is going to start off and obviously the flurry is going to take turn 1 since most flurries are built relatively faster than everyone. But she can't S3 here uh, because I have double clans. I have t Crozet and make Chloe to deal with that. She S1s uh, my carrot though which is kind of weird that ends up burning her. She, she's taking no damage for no reason. Uh, Jeeper can't S3 either because if, if he has 3s that's going to give attack buff to the Ravi but then I can just strip that with carrot. So S1ing on Jeeper was definitely the play. I'm gonna S3 make Chloe, give myself a tag buff. Now Landy's gonna take a turn, deal decent damage into his team. Kara's gonna take a turn as well. I end up hitting the Ravi there, which is pretty nice. Uh, I'm gonna S3 on my Carrot. Uh, most of his team no longer has immunity, only Crow has immunity here, so I'm almost guaranteed to land many burns. I end up missing the Crow, but look at that damage, man. It's not even the burn damage, it's just like her base S3 da damage. That's, that's a decent amount of damage. Crow takes a turn here. Uh, there's no reason. He can't S3. Like, I have too much, too much health. He's gonna S2 give his team attack buff. Uh, here in T-Crows it, I'm not gonna S3 because I want to save it for the cleanse. So I'm just gonna S1, try to stun the Flurry. But we, we don't get that, but we do get the detonate. Flurry's gonna take a turn. And then S3 into my carrot. Strip all my buffs. Give a defense break and provoke. So my, my carrot's kind of in trouble here. Uh, Jeepurg finally S3s. Giving attack buff, buff to that Ravi. I'm gonna S1 the flurry. End up sending it with CR push. Man, the S1 on that bonk is so good. So now I'm gonna S3 on my Landy since you know he he put some buffs up. Uh, I reset my cooldown. We missed the uh, fire Ravi there, and we didn't crit the uh, flurry because she got uh, anti crit. This is why I saved my S3 on my T Crozet. Uh, I need that for the cleanse, so I'm gonna S3 into my carrot i guess i really didn't have to because like here sh she's dead she's dead to crow so i could have just pushed landy here but you know yeah i could just push landy because she's just dead to crow right and she no longer has revive uh yeah i could have protected landy more if that dual attack and then something like my landy was like trouble so crow takes a turn s3 ing at my carrot and that's what i mean i could just have let her die and didn't matter um, flurry stunned. I'm gonna S1 flurry here because uh, she's stunned. Give myself, give my team a CR push because it's already stunned. Guarantee CR push, pretty nice there. Landy takes a turn. I'm not gonna soul burn here because I think I need the soul burn for the stuns. Basically, I either need the soul burn for uh, my uh, T Crozet for 100% stun and S1 or my May Chloe so I could you know revive earlier just in case. So I'm just gonna S3 uh, kill both the crowd and the flurry. And I'm gonna Soulburn S1. The uh, yeah, this is how I deal. This is how I deal with Ravi's with my team. Uh, I have both May Chloe and uh, T Crozet to like just perma stun it. 
she does land a counter here, which is really scary. Uh, fortunately, we have T-Crows there protecting her. I'm gonna S1, end up stunning it. Pretty good bonk. So here, I'm not gonna soul burn because she's already stunned. Then he's gonna take a turn here. I'm gonna S1 again. Uh, Ravi takes a turn, take out the uh, stun, and now I'm gonna stun with Mayclo again. <laughs> I have stun here with T-Crows at 2, so I had 2 stun procs, uh, 2 stun chances, pretty good chance to win here, and we take the win, GG. Alright, for this last one, uh, I'm just going to showcase a fight where I don't draft either Landy or um, May Chloe. I do feel like that's the new Exodia, if you have Landy, Carrot, and Maid Chloe. You have a super aggressive opener that your opponent is like struggling to answer and most of the answers can just be answered with your last two picks. But I want to showcase a fight where um, it shows that Carrot can stand on her own, that you don't need Landy or make Chloe to make her work. Uh, the fight is against Heath, Ward, Stab, we're both sitting at champion. Uh, he grabs um, G-Perk, pretty solid first pick. I'm going to grab uh, Fire Carrot here and my FCC, I didn't really know what to draft in my second slot because like I said, I usually draft um, Landy. Or make Chloe, so here I'm just, I said I'll just grab a CC because I'm gonna try it out. Um, Heath goes in and grabs uh, SNE and Basar. Don't think those are good answers. Basar are pretty good into um, FCC, right? But uh, I don't think I like the uh, the SNE here because I already have one. I have two AOEs actually. I have AOE in both FCC and Carrot, and Carrot wrecks SNE. She does so much damage into SNE. Uh, so I answer with a town win plus alpha a town win so I don't get unbuffabled and then alpha just in case the bazaar is slow I could potentially sleep it or if not uh, I could like sleep jeeper or something or I could sleep something aside from the s10 -E. uh, he goes in and answers with RB plus Ross and here I'm just like I don't really know what to do here because this, this draft is so weird like I'm out of my comfort zone because like I said I don't have my Exodia, so I just drafted SSB. I don't think it was good because he does have Basar into stuns, um, but he ends up banning Basar, uh, my SSB here, so I guess he ended up pretty well. Honestly, man, this was a fight where I don't really know what I was doing, but I feel like he didn't know either. I think we were both pre prepared yeah, but I think that's what made it fun. All right, so the fight starts off, and fortunately, we actually take turn one. I was building my entire team around that Basar taking turn one and that was my plan like he was supposed to take turn one in my head but when this happens you just take it it might be a little bit speed rng might be a little bit of gear diff but you know we take those uh, i'm still gonna s2 an alpha but non Basar because i want Basar to be asleep but i still want attack buff for my carrot here ross actually does something weird at first i couldn't figure out why he did this he's gonna s2 into my uh, fcc and i come to realize why he has one turn immunity on that uh, S10E, and he wants two turn immunity because if I hit the Jeeper here, the s takes a turn and loses immunity. So if I if he didn't S2 there, I would have hit Jeeper. I should have hit Jeeper, and s would lose immunity, and a Tywin would be able to stun that um, that um, s -tenny. Here, I'm going to S3 on my Carrot. Hope I strip and land my debuffs, and I do. I land two burns on both the s -tenny and Ross. Uh, Jeeper is in S3, and this is why I think uh, SNE is so bad into Carrot. That, that was so much damage that here, he opts not to Soul Burn because he thinks he's gonna die, and I can't blame him. It's not obvious that he actually he actually ends up surviving at the end here, but um, he ends up not Soul Burning because you know he can't tell he can't tell if he's gonna die or not. But my L Fault Spirit Tanky also end up resisting. Uh, doesn't really matter though. Um, Ross gonna take a turn. He's just gonna S2 into my alpha finish her off. Probably gonna soul burn because she has so many souls. Uh, ends up killing my alpha and hitting into my a Taiwan. I'm gonna S3 and have CC because I don't. I'm not sure if she dies as well. So I wanna guarantee that she dies here. Jeeper takes a turn. Um, it's going to be S1 into my Taiwan proc the skill nullifier. Uh, actually, yeah, that's what I said. SNE actually survives, but she's gonna soul burn S1 into my carrot. She's, since she's immune, she's not gonna get burnt. But look at this damage. It's not even enough to proc her shield. That's just that's just the shield from carrot, by the way. Like, she's so tanky because of her like 20% damage mitigation. Also, I got Argus here, and you know, she's such a good hero in general. I don't think you need Landy or uh, any other hero to make her work. I think she's just a good hero, period. Anyways, that's it for my carrot showcase. She's definitely a must build, and considering she's a three-star hero, everyone should have one at Triple S. 
I'm probably gonna have to make another video for Carrot just because, you know, I'm gonna be spamming her in RTA because I have a really high win rate and at the same time, there are a lot of things to explore with her kit. Uh, there are also counters to her, but at the same time, I sometimes let those counters through something like SSB or Cerise and I still win because uh, she'll always gonna pass burns with her S2 because those do not miss. Anyways, until then, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That way you get notifications when my new videos comes up. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.